Hi, I'm Fiona, the physio from pelvicfloorexercise.com.au and today we're going to look at our range of electrodes. There's two main types. We've got the adhesive external electrodes and then we've got the internal electrodes. All of the electrodes that we sell, both external and internal, are compatible with all of the machines that we sell on pelvic floor exercise. So that includes your electrical stimulation machines, the TENS machines, the EMG machines, and the Maya Plus uh, machines. So they can all be used interchangeably with any of those machines. First, we're going to look at the adhesive external electrodes. They come in a range of sizes, starting with the small 30 millimeter diameter round ones, 40 by 40 millimeter, 50 by 50, um, 40 by 90, 50 by 90, and the 100 by 90 millimeters. Which size you choose depends very much on um, what your what area of the body you're treating and what your intention of the treatment is. The smaller the electrode um, the, is generally used on the smaller areas of the body. So for example, we'll often use these uh, 30 millimetre ones um, uh, perianally if we're doing biofeedback for um, defecation training, etc. The, um, the standard size is the, the 50 by 50 and they're the ones that actually come with, with um, some of the TENS machines. So for a smaller person we might drop to the 40 by 40. These can be successfully used around the sacral area um, and for um, tibial stimulation for overactive bladder. And the larger sizes tend to be used for um, larger areas like the spine. Um, and are the, these are the larger sizes that come with the, um, the obstetric TENS as well. So you just need to make sure that your electrodes are not too close together when you use them on the body. They should be at least the width of the electrode between each of the electrodes. Otherwise the current can just cross between the electrodes rather than penetrate into the skin. And now we're going to have a little look at the anal electrode range and we'll start with the aneuform. It's the, um, the smallest in the body but the widest and it comes with a flange which makes it easy for insertion and removal. The um, aneuform is very comfortable to use and is, of the applications for this and can be for someone who has quite a weak external anal sphincter. For example, someone postnatally who's had some damage to that sphincter um, during birth. The next one, our very smallest, is the 10 millimetre uh, with the dual um, circumferen circumferential um, electrode plates. So this might be for someone who's got a smaller anal verge or the distance in, inside the um, anus and um, is a, a, a smaller person. And the third one that we have is the 12 millimetre um, anal probe with again the circumferential um, plates which means that you're more likely to, to get contact with the, uh, the tissues. This one also has a adjustable collar. So everyone has a slightly different size. So once you find the comfortable size, uh, sorry, the comfortable um, insertion length with this one, you can actually adjust where that is using the collar. So for future treatments, the patient knows that's as far as they need to um, insert the electrode. And now let's look at the vaginal electrode range. We'll start with the 20 millimeter um, PFLEX one. It's 20 millimetres in diameter, and we have two electrode plates that are circumferential. So this style is very good for ensuring that you're getting contact um, completely um, around, so you are maintaining some degree of contact with the, with the pelvic floor, if the um, 20 millimetres will, will fit. If not, we can move up to the same electrode, but in a 25 millimetre. Again, we've got the circumferential um, plates here. This one is a little bit long. And again, this takes um, into account that some people have a longer or a shorter vagina, and some people have a larger or smaller um, levator hiatus. So the electrode actually needs to sit in there in the um, levator hiatus. These electrodes, um, because they're straight, you will tend to need to perhaps hold them in. There may be a tendency for it to slide out, but the advantage is that you are going to ensure that there is contact all the way around. Let's move on to the PR18. This is a, um, a good all-round electrode. It has a flange on the end, um, which gives you secure, um, uh, secure to hold as you insert and withdraw it. 
and the large plates on either side are very good for ensuring contact. It can also help you to orient to ensure that one plate is, is um, facing your left hip and one is facing your right, which means that it will in fact have good contact with the, um, the pelvic floor muscles. If you feel the flange is turned that way, we know that we're not going to be in contact with the muscles. And then moving on to the uh, PRO2. This is, as you can see, a more rounded um, shape, but it's tapered in. Again, we've got some quite large plates on either side. This can be quite a good one for um, pelvic pain patients. So uh, once it's in, it's less likely, because of the tapering, um, it's less likely to, to want to, to slide out, so it can be held in quite securely. The only problem with this one is you're not really sure, once it's inserted, what the orientation of the um, electrodes are. So you just need to ensure as you insert that um, you can remember where they are and just going directly, directly in. Moving on, we've got the um, PRO2A, which is very similar to the O2, but this one has gold-plated electrodes. Now, the advantage of this is um, all uh, electrodes actually have a small amount of nickel in them and some people have a nickel allergy. If that's the case with your patient, then this gold-plated one uh, will be ideal. This also comes with an indicator stick. So once it's inserted, the stick movement gives you biofeedback as to when your pelvic floor is contracting and when your pelvic floor is relaxing. It can then also be used when it's not attached to your uh, stimulation machine as what we call a pelvic floor educator. So you can insert the electrode like you would a tampon and you can practice your pelvic floor contractions and you can watch your indicator stick to see whether you're doing it correctly or not. And our last one is the periform. This is the largest of the electrodes as far as width goes. So it can be very useful for ladies with a larger um, vaginal hi or levator hiatus as it fits very snugly into the, um, the vagina and gives very good contact with the um, pelvic floor muscles. Again, this one comes with an indicator stick, which we can just pop on by clicking in there. And the extra sticks can be attached on the end. So you can either put one or two on there. Again, as the, um, as the muscles contract and it, they lift the electrode internally, the indicator stick will drop down towards your tailbone and then return. So it gives you extra feedback as to what you're doing. Also, this one can be used like the previous one, not attached to your stimulation machine. Um, you can use it as a pelvic floor educator and this is modelled on our other product called the Pelvic Floor Educator. It's made by the same company. Having the electrodes on the side of this, however, makes it a little bit wider. So it can be used just as a pelvic floor educator for ladies who find that the pelvic floor educator itself is a little bit too small. So again, we can be contracting and watching the stick to ensure that we're doing our contractions correctly. Thank you for watching. If you have any further questions, please feel free to email us at info at pelvicfloorexercise.com.au.